Hello everyone. Today's verse of the day is Proverbs 10, 21. The lips of the righteous nourish many, but fools die for lack of sense. The lips of the righteous feed many, but fools die for lack of sense. I've touched on this a lot. I'm going to touch on it on a different angle though. But first, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. what what did the how did the lips of the righteous nourish many? How did they feed many? How did they uphold many and strengthen and edify and build up and encourage and admonish many? They do it by instilling the fear of the Lord. Proverbs 9:10, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. When you fear the Lord, He's like our father. He will take care of you. He will make sure that you stay safe and that you do things that do not let you perish. But fools die for lack of sense. I'm not going to get too deep into this because I've talked about it many times. But one more thing. Hosea 4, 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Since you have rejected knowledge, I will also reject you from being my priest. Since you have forgotten the law of your God. I also will forget your children. That's dealing with peace, but that's dealing with priests. But look, it says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge is what the word says. To know more about this stuff, look up verse of day 295, 274, 265, 266, verse of day 9, 12, or 66. Or look at them all. I talk about this. But what I want to look at this deeper looking at the main verse that we're going to concentrate on the lips of the righteous nourish many but fools die for her lack of sense i don't remember a lot of things that people say or do but i remember things that righteous men say or do i remember things that my grandpa the way he was the way he tried to show me love he filled me up i will never forget my grandpa even if he wasn't my grandpa i wouldn't forget him i remember pastors i don't think i told you but there's a story of two pastors one pastor i went to he's an older gentleman when i <laughs> When I when I joined his church and I was talking to him at a time, I was trying to call him uh, Pastor Leslie. He's like, no, Warren, no, no. I'm like, what? Don't call me Pastor Leslie. Just call me Leslie, man. I have to. <laughs> we're, we're both believers. Call me Leslie. I don't want to be called Pastor Leslie. Okay. I was like, okay. And I keep calling him Pastor. No, don't call me Pastor Leslie. I remember that man. I remember that man because that was such a humbling experience. That was the lips of the righteous. I remember that lesson. So when I see people that want to be called pastor and that you try and call them their first name when alone, and they're like, no, you will call me Pastor Steve. <laughs> I remember Pastor Leslie. Um, When I say that, the lips of the righteous nerves, many, they, it will always stick with you. These words and these wisdoms always stick with you. As 1 Peter 1, 22 says, Since you have purified your souls in obedience to the truth for sincere love of the brothers and sisters, fervently love one another from the heart. For you have been born again, not of seed which is perishable, don't last forever, but imperishable. That is through the living and enduring word of God. Yeah. <laughs> God's word is imperishable. It lasts forever. So when one is righteous and they're living out God's word and they are speaking God's word, the lips of the righteous nourish many and it lasts forever. I think about people that are movie stars people that are song artists and things 
if their words are dark because you know there was a time when I wasn't walking with the Lord their stuff perishes their words perish it don't last it doesn't stick into my heart I forget them I forget that actress I forget that actor I don't know their names anymore because they weren't feeding me anything that was worthwhile that was imperishable they are they call themselves stars but they're shooting stars they last for a moment and then they're gone my children or the next generations they won't remember them they won't know them they'll be like who's that people are doing that now with 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 uh what's her name madonna who's madonna you don't know who Madonna is? No. If you would have asked who Madonna was maybe 20, 30 years ago, everybody knew who Madonna was. The kids now, they don't know. These people have propagated themselves up to be like God, and now nobody knows who they are. They're shooting stars. They're there for a moment, and then they're gone. But the words, the lips of the righteous, the words, they nourish many. They keep feeding people far past their time far past their time as it says continue in first peter for all flesh is like grass and all its glory is like the flower of grass the grass withers and the flower falls off but the word of the lord endures forever and this is the word which was preached to you that is what I want to feed you guys. Things that last forever. Because I want to see you forever. I want you to hear words that last forever. I don't want you to not be shooting stars. But to be with the Lord in heaven. Yeah. Okay. Dear and Father, thank you for this day. May many be saved, Lord. May we not seek that which is perishable, but that which is imperishable. Thank you for your word, God. Thank you for just just leading us and giving us things that 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 matter. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Goodbye.